start with our five-man protection. When we talk five-man protection, these are the basic concepts that are critical for our offensive line to understand. They're critical for the quarterback to understand and also the receivers, but most important, offensive line and quarterback. Our number one priority is to always protect the quarterback backside, always protecting the quarterback backside. There's no exception to that. We want the quarterback to have confidence and never to be looking over his shoulder. Secondly, we don't want to allow any internal A or B gap run through pressure. No A or B gap run through pressure. Why? So the quarterback could step up in the pocket and throw the ball and follow through. The next, any four week pressure, the quarterback's backside, any four week pressure is always handled by the slide side of the protection. So as we discuss our rules of five-man protection, it's important to understand there's a man side to the protection and a slide side. So the call side of the protection is the man side. The side away from the call is the slide side. All right, the slide side means A and B and C gap protectors. So they handle any four-week pressure, and we'll show you how we handle do that as we progress. Any four-strong pressure is handled with a redirection, meaning we can flip the protection, we can redirect the protection that way, flip the protection and slide into that pressure, or if it comes after the ball is snapped or after the indicator by the quarterback to snap the ball, then the quarterback will throw hot off that extra defender, and by throwing hot off that extra defender, um, you know, it's a quick throw game, and we'll talk about that as we go. Our call side is a lock-squeeze concept, so the man side is a lock-squeeze, meaning we're locked on those guys man-to-man. -man. We squeeze if they run through somebody in the A or B gap. If we have an A or B gap run through, we squeeze it. And then because it's a five-man protection, the quarterback is always responsible for the sixth defender, and that sixth defender is call side widest. So that's our basic rules. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And then as we progress through this talk, we'll explain the details of that as we go. So we'll start off here and I want to go to the board and talk a little football on the board just to initiate our rules and concepts. So here we have our five man protection. Some people call that 50 protection. Some people have a name for that protection. Some people might call it like Ringo. So it doesn't really matter what you call it, but your five-man protection, something has to tell your offensive line where the man side is and where the slide side is. So in this particular protection, we're in five-man. The call that we've made tells them the man side is to the right the slide side to the left. On the man side, we're manning the two down linemen. So we start from the center out. That's the first down lineman, that's the second. So we're manning one and two. These two man them. All right, and then if there's any type of twist, pick and roll type of stunts, games we call it, they have to learn to switch those off or our terminology is to bump it. Okay. In our five-man protection where the quarterback is five yards deep and drops to eight yards, we vertical set. So we would call that vertical sets on the man side. So they are vertical, straight back, shoulder square, hip to hip, a two to three foot split in here depending on uh, pre-snap alignment. On the slide side, the center would ID the linebacker, call him the zero or the Mike linebacker, and then they would be responsible for blocking that triangle on the slide side really through A, B, and C gap technique where they slide at a 45 degree angle to protect that gap. So that's your basic rules. Slide side, man side. What changes? If you get some type of blitz in the A-gap, then they vertically set, they would have to squeeze 
to protect the inside two, and the quarterback then would throw hot off the third rusher. All right, if that same linebacker were to rush in the B gap, then it would just be a one-man squeeze, and the guard would stay attached to his man, still throwing hot off the end. Okay, if that linebacker rushes outside and comes off the edge, then obviously both the guard and tackle stay locked on their man, and the quarterback would throw hot off the mic off the edge. Okay, on the slide side again, we're A, B, and C gap integrity. So if we get inside rush and the will off the edge, we have that protected because we're all gap sound. If somebody comes from outside this box, this six-man box, somebody that's not in our count, so they want to bring an extra rusher, maybe it's a corner, all right? That brings a fourth rusher to this side. Traditionally, when a fourth rusher comes to the slide side, you're going to get somebody working to the front side of the protection. Okay, so you get three on this side, and then you'll end up getting probably two to the front side with the end dropping out. So if that happens, our tackle makes an alert call. There's a call we make that alerts everybody that he has a fourth rusher coming and that would trigger the entire line to understand what's getting ready to happen. We'd still block C, B, A gaps, but then on this side they're ready to squeeze the A and B gaps to take away that pressure knowing that the backside end usually drops when you get a four-man pressure to this side. 